Well, welcome to Pub Travels. We are at Los Burritos Tapatios in Lyle, Illinois. We're here for a little bit of uh, late breakfast. Um, Donna's not eating breakfast, but I'm going to have some menu, though. And uh, we've got all of our toppings and things here. Mm -hmm. right, Donna ordered some enchiladas with the green, green salsa, green sauce. Rice and beans look delicious. All right. I always judge Mexican restaurants by the beans. I know it's weird. Mm. Good beans make any Mexican meal. You know, that's that's to me the standard. Like good beans, the rest of the meal doesn't really matter. Well, I should say it doesn't matter, but the rest of it's just a real pleasure. All right. So I don't eat all of Donna's beans. I'll try the rice. Very good rice. Can't complain. My mom always says she makes the best, and she really makes very good rice. My dad's cousin, Mary, she makes excellent rice as well, but this is up there with them. Very good. You're not going to taste the enchilada? I'll try the enchilada also. Nice and cheesy. Mm. That's good. Might be a little spicy for you. She said the green wasn't spicy. I don't know. Well, she didn't say it wasn't I spicy. Find it she to be, said it was less spicy. Yeah. I find it to be mild with just a little bit of a kick. So, it's very good. So we've got our, our chips and salsa. We've got a nice little red salsa here. Mm. Very nice. Tomatoey. Mild. There's something in it I can't place what it is. I can't place it, but it's very good. Nice and mild. So, I love putting all the toppings on, on menudo. Menudo is tripe, or tripe. This is from the, uh, there are three stomachs of a cow. And the different, uh, I believe it's three. At least the ones that are edible, I don't know. But, uh, so put a little limon, some lime. A little bit of cilantro, some red onion. The mistake I make is I like red onion as I overload it with the red onion. That's a little too much, but I'm going to go easy on it today. Got the honeycomb well, because and the other different, dipo. Because different parts of the stomach add um, like This, quickly, is, this is definitely have, the, the honeycomb. Yeah, they're going to have, because they have different jobs. They're going to be structured differently, so they right. look different because their structure is different. But there's another one that's edible, I believe, also in, um, I don't know if it's German or Polish. I know for sure Polish. Uh, uh, Polish cultures will eat uh, tripe also. And I think they use the, the flat, the smooth part. But anyway, I don't know if you can see that. That looks, it's, it's delicious. I love menudo. though. A lot of people don't like the texture because it can be a little rubbery, a little chewy. Um, and depending on how long it's cooked also, if it's cooked a really long time, it could practically melt in your mouth. Um, but this has just a little bit of chew to it. It's not, it's definitely cooked, not undercooked. Um, but very, very good. I've only had a couple of bad menudos where it's just not enough flavor. Just very kind of weak, kind of lame. Um, but I also love, I've only had a couple of bites so far. I'm already getting that really nice you know, gelatinous stickiness on my lips. It's so delicious. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> All right, Don's going in on some salsa here. Oh, that's really red. I thought it was that. Yeah. It's no, not that. This is more of a, like, roasted. Roasted tomatoes and peppers and everything that they put in them. Let's give this a try. Mm. You can really taste the, the roasted char quality. Got a nice little spicy kick to it. Delicious. Probably should have started with one of the more mild ones. Or at least the less flavor, just like with wine and beer. You want to have the the more flavorful or bolder ones at the end. So we've got the, the green one here. This is also going to be uh, likely some sort of cooked tomatillo with, with peppers. This one you can tell is a, a lighter green. This is going to be fresh. So your fresh tomatillos and jalapenos, they're, they're not cooked. That's the difference. So. It's creamy. You can really taste the freshness, the brightness of the tomatillos, and even the really nice bright green of the jalapenos. So that's how you make a nice fresh salsa. And you, you like those green ones, but you want a little bit of that cooked flavor. You can even you know, get a nice char on your on your vegetables uh, with a green sauce. And, you know, can't really see any any like charred flakes or anything. So uh, it could also be just boiled. They may have uh, just boiled it. I like to put them on a, on a flat top or on a grill or something and uh, get a nice little char on them. Ah, and I also forgot they always send out a little bit of oregano, <clears throat> likely a Mexican oregano, which is a little bit more. Um, depth than I think our regular oregano we would use, or like an Italian oregano. And this is just um, some chili flakes. Get some of those in there. And I also forgot the corn tortillas. Now a lot of people do this differently or kind of make a taco out of the, out of the tripe. I actually just like it as sort of a sort of a, a side, uh, a dipping side snack or something. I'll have a bite and then take a bite of the tortilla. Still really hot. We haven't even put a dent in it yet. I haven't even put a dent in the bowl yet. And how about the beans and rice? You like them? Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I think I like mine. My the beans are a little smoother. I know you don't. Like you like a little more chunky. Mm. I didn't think I like them either. either way. I like them regular beans or I like them too. Well, these I really like because they're, um, I mean, you can make them, like, really blend them down and smash them down so it's super, super smooth like a puree. I think that's what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Whereas I like them creamy rather than dry and really chunky. But you can see there's nice chunks of, of so whole beans in there, so it's a texture thing. But, uh, again, it comes back to flavor. And I asked uh, one Mexican restaurant owner one time, you know, how do, how do you make your beans? They're just so delicious. Or, you know, what, what, what makes them so creamy? He says, it's just the water that you cook them in. You know, you don't let all the water, uh, you know, cook off or evaporate. You, you leave some of that water in there and you, you well, mash you them up or however you're going to prepare them. The no, my mother would tell me that my grandmother would put lard in her beans to help make them nice and creamy. So I think every family's got a recipe. But super delicious, super good. It's still super hot. Temperature or spicy? Temperature. I like the new those that come out. Kind of nice and semi-mild and, and spicy flavor, so you can add your own. Um, sometimes they come out too mild, sometimes they come out a little spicy. Sorry. All right, so we got our coffee. We'll talk about the coffee here. Came here probably a couple years ago, and it was 
morning. It was breakfast for me. I ordered a coffee. The coffee was so absolutely amazing. I, ha I had to ask before I left, what do you put in the coffee? It was so good. Cinnamon. And uh, I posted on Facebook and stuff, you know, how cinnamon tastes so delicious with coffee. So yeah, the cinnamon is just delicious. I've done it at home. I uh, I know back years ago when I um, would ma make a pot of coffee with a coffee filter and everything, like a, like a Mr. Coffee type of machine, I'd put cinnamon in with the coffee grounds, and that's really good. We've got a Keurig-style pod coffee maker now. One cup. So you know, just a one cupper. Great deal. We've had it for like three over three years and 20 bucks a Walmart. Uh, but anyway, so I've got to put the cinnamon in directly to the coffee after it's been made. And it's not quite the same. It's almost like the brewing process really intensifies the cinnamon and gives it a different flavor. So yes, they do put the cinnamon in it. Donna's giving me a hard time. Well, it's just Folgers. I don't care what the brand is, but putting a cinnamon in it is freaking delicious. I've had the coffee before. Do you like it with the cinnamon? No? It's just okay. <laughs> the cinnamon's, <clears throat> the cinnamon's nice. I'm not gonna say you don't like the cinnamon. The cinnamon. Oh, here we go. See, there's this part here. It's super, super gelatinous looking. I don't know what part that is, and I've put it in my mouth before, and it's pretty weird. So, Wait, seeing as I chewing, pardon me. Don't say that while I want food in my mouth. <laughs> We're not going to eat it, but for the sake of being on camera, we've got nothing else to talk about. You're not eating it? Pardon me? You're not eating it? I am. I'm not going to eat the whole, I'm not going to eat it, but I'm going to put it in my mouth and, and describe how I know it's going to be gelatinous and like, not in the good way that I like. Mm. Actually, I'm going to eat it. You should hear. I don't know what part that is. Let's see if there's another one in there, show you. Mm -hmm. Another little. Cactus -like. Pardon me? It almost looks cactus like. Cactus? I don't know, but super, super gelatinous. I'm not gonna eat it again. It's more about the, the sticky gelatinous than it is any flavor. It doesn't really have much flavor at all, whatever that was. I'm sticking with cactus. Really love these nice bites. The soup is finally cooling down a little bit so I can start eating it um, a little more aggressively. Mm. With the corn tortilla? Pardon? And with the corn tortilla? Delicious. Make it to order. Oh, yeah. Every time I've ordered it here, it takes a long time. So, I haven't had a, a whole lot off the menu here. We've got burritos and tacos, enchiladas. 